If you're thinking about getting a golden retriever, then there are a few things that you should know first. Yes, they are wonderful family pets. I absolutely love my golden Oliver, and actually I don't think I'll ever have another breed besides a golden. However, they're certainly not for everyone. And in fact, in this video, I'm actually going to try to convince you to not get a golden retriever. You'll see why soon. Alright, what's up everybody? I'm Jake, and welcome to Golden Hearts, where we talk everything golden retrievers and puppies. Getting a new dog is a huge decision. It's a big time and a big money commitment. So I'm glad you're here watching this video. To help you make that decision, you'll see the top 10 pros and cons of golden retrievers. These are ranked in order of importance, and we'll start with the pros first. There is a lot to like about golden retrievers, but you definitely want to see the cons in this list if you want to avoid costly mistakes or a big heartbreak. Pro number 10, golden retrievers are great working dogs. If you're looking for a dog for a job, it's tough to beat a golden retriever. They were originally bred as hunting dogs back in the 1800s in Scotland, and they still serve as hunting dogs today. But you can also find them as therapy dogs in hospitals or retirement homes or in schools, also as service dogs for individuals, and they're also search and rescue dogs. In fact, some of the search and rescue dogs at Ground Zero after 9-11 were actually golden retrievers digging through the rubble trying to find survivors. And even if you're not looking for a dog for a job, golden retrievers make great personal therapy dogs. Pro number 9. Golden retrievers are smart. According to Dr. Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, golden retrievers are the fourth smartest dog breed. They're about as smart as a two or a two and a half year old child, and they can learn up to 165 words. Having such a smart dog is great because they're intuitive and they're quick to learn. However, the fact that they're so smart can also be a con, which we'll talk about later. Now in this video, I'll be mentioning a bunch of different facts and numbers, and if you want to see where I got them, you can check out the blog post down in the description. Pro number eight, golden retrievers are forever puppies. Goldens are known for being puppies for life. They're playful and joyful and a little bit mischievous. We fostered a senior golden a couple months ago, and she loved to prance around with a toy in her mouth or bop around in the backyard chasing tennis balls, just like a much younger dog. Pro number seven, golden retrievers are moderate barkers. Dog time gives golden retrievers a three out of five stars for barking, but I must be lucky because my golden rarely ever barks. Here's why. Golden retrievers were bred for hunting birds, so if they barked when they were in the field, they would scare them off. This is the opposite of some dogs like beagles who are bred to bay or howl when they were hunting. And it's a good thing that they're not heavy barkers because a golden retriever, Charlie, actually has the world record for the loudest bark. He set the record in Australia in 2012 with a bark that measured at 113 decibels. Pro number six, golden retrievers are easily trained. Like we talked about earlier, golden retrievers are smart, so they easily quick up commands and they retain them well too. But that's not the only reason that they're easy to train. First, they're people pleasers, so they want to do what you want them to do. And second, they love treats. The fact that they're relatively easy to train is part of what makes them such good working dogs. But even if you don't want your dog to be a working dog, they're really fun to teach them tricks. You're going to have fun teaching your dog, and they're going to have fun learning, so it's a great way for the two of you to bond. Pro number five, golden retrievers are good with other dogs and other animals. Goldens are known for being friendly, and it's not just with humans. We did a survey of golden retriever parents earlier this year, and we found that 31.6% of them had a golden retriever plus another dog. We also found that 25% of them had a golden retriever and a cat. You've also got stories like Larry and Cricket, the golden retriever and the tortoise, and Pippin and Happy, the golden retriever and the guinea pig. However, just because goldens are known for being good with other animals doesn't mean that you can take it for granted and just throw them together. You still need to properly introduce them. Pro number four, golden retrievers are beautiful. Almost every day when I'm walking Oliver, people tell me, oh my gosh, you have such a beautiful dog. And it's literally those exact words, beautiful dog, every single time. Golden Retriever puppies are adorable, adult dogs are beautiful, and senior dogs with their sugar faces will melt your heart. What's your favorite thing about the way that Golden Retrievers look? Is it their smile, their floppy ears, their bushy tail, or their beautiful coat? Let me know down in the comments. Pro number three, Golden Retrievers have great personalities. Golden Retrievers are loving, loyal, sweet, goofy, playful, and friendly. They always want to be around people, and their goofy smiles and big, bushy, wagging tails can brighten up any room. But they're not always happy. Sometimes they're pouty if you don't want to play with them or if you didn't want to give them a treat, and it's still adorable because they're so expressive. You can see it in their ears or their eyebrows or their big sighs and moans. Pro number two. Golden Retrievers are good family dogs. Like we just mentioned, Golden Retrievers have great personalities that are perfect for families. They're loving, and they're loyal, and they're friendly, and they always want to be around people. Plus, they're great with kids. They can be patient around younger children, or run around the yard and play or wrestle with older children. They also seem to have a weird sixth sense around kids. 
When Oliver was just a few months old, my wife's best friend came over to tell us that she was pregnant. Obviously, Oliver didn't understand what she was saying, but the whole time he sat right in front of her as if he was protecting her. And the weird thing is, this was the first time that he had ever met her. Another reason that Golden Retrievers make great family dogs is because they're adventurous. You can take them on hikes or road tripping or camping with you, and they'll be happy to join you at dog-friendly restaurants or coffee shops or breweries. And pro number one, the most important part in my book, is that Golden Retrievers are heart stealers. Your Golden will be your best friend, and you will love them way more than you could ever imagine. People who have Golden Retrievers aren't like other dog owners. We are obsessed with our Goldens. And the numbers back it up too. In the survey that we did earlier this year, we found that 48% of people have more than one Golden Retriever in their lifetime. And 4.9% of people will have six or more Golden Retrievers. I hope that's me, although I would prefer if Oliver would just live forever and I would only have one Golden in my life. So to conclude all of these pros, Golden Retrievers are the best dogs in the world. And if all of these pros sound good to you, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with the best Golden Retriever videos on YouTube. Okay, so I just said that Golden Retrievers are the best dogs in the world. So why would I try to convince you to not get a golden? Well, here's what you don't want to happen. You decide to get a golden retriever because you think they're cute, but then when you bring them home, you realize that you two aren't a good fit, and then you have to abandon them. It's stressful and sad for them, and it's stressful and sad and really costly for you too. This is why I have this list of 10 cons, so that you know before you get a golden retriever whether or not they're the right breed for you. And if you want further help in making that decision, I'll link the golden retriever quiz down in the description so you can take it and see whether or not they're a good fit. All right, now let's dive into the cons. Con number 10, golden retrievers are big. Okay, so I love big dogs. I always wanted a big dog. I never wanted a small dog, but there are a few things that you should know before you get one. For one, bigger is more expensive. You're gonna have to have bigger toys, which are more expensive, a bigger bed, a bigger crate. Those are both more expensive. And golden retrievers eat a lot. Goldens eat like five times more than Yorkies. So it's gonna cost you like five times as much to feed them. Another reason that golden retrievers being big isn't the best thing in the world is that they're gonna need a lot of training. For instance, let's say you have that Yorkie. If that Yorkie pulls on the leash or jumps on you, it's not a big deal because they're only like five pounds. But if a 70 pound golden retriever pulls on the leash or jumps on you, it is a big deal. Because of that, you're gonna need to spend a lot of time training them. Con number nine, golden retrievers shed a lot. If you have a golden retriever, you're gonna have a layer of golden hair over everything in your house. And it's not just the floors and the couch and the furniture. I've even found golden retriever hair on the top of like four or five foot shelves. It's literally just in the air. And also not a day goes by that I don't find a little golden fluff in my food. If this hasn't turned you off from getting a golden retriever, then you can watch this video for more information about how to deal with the excessive golden retriever shedding. Con number eight, golden retrievers can be extra mouthy. All puppies bite a lot. It's a big part of how they experience the world and how they play. After all, they don't have thumbs, so they can't pick things up, so they have to touch everything with their mouth. While golden retrievers weren't bred to bark when they hunted, they were bred to put things in their mouth, so expect them to be extra mouthy. They don't seem to care whether it's a toy or your fingers, they just always want something in their mouth. And while the razor sharp puppy teeth can hurt, there is also some good news about golden retrievers being so mouthy. The egg challenge went viral a couple years ago, and that was when people would put raw eggs in their golden's mouth. Then they would take the raw egg out without a scratch. Even though raw eggs are so fragile, golden retriever have soft mouths. And this was just a fun demonstration of how they don't actually bite down that hard. Con number seven, golden retrievers eat a lot of grooming. First, we talked about how beautiful golden retriever's coats are. And then we talked about how much they shed. But you're also gonna need to brush that coat a lot. And those coats are what I call carriers. If your golden goes outside to play, you can almost guarantee they're gonna come back inside with grass or sticks or dead leaves suck somewhere in their coat. And their coats can get gnats in them, which are like little tangled wads of hair that are really painful for them. To prevent gnats, you're gonna need to brush them at least two or three times a week. And it's not just their beautiful coats that need all this grooming. They have floppy ears, so you're gonna need to clean their ears often. They have nails, so you're gonna need to clip them. And you're gonna have to brush their teeth often. No matter what breed you get, you're gonna have to do this, but it's good to know before you get a dog so that you're prepared. Now, if you're considering a golden retriever, you might also be considering a lab. And golden retriever's high maintenance coats are one of the biggest things that set the two of them apart. If you wanna learn more about how these two breeds compare, then you can check out this video. Con number six, golden retrievers don't like to be alone. If you're one of those people who goes out every night or who spends all of your weekends shopping or hanging out with friends or going to ball games or anything else that golden retrievers can't go with you, then a golden retriever might not be good for you. Goldens are social dogs and they love to be around their family. If you leave them at home all day or all night, they're gonna be sad. 
Also, if they're not getting enough attention, then they might start to act out and misbehave, which we'll talk more about later. Con number five, golden retrievers can be mischievous. One of the pros about golden retrievers is that they're so smart, so they're relatively easy to train. However, all that smartness can easily turn into a con. If they're not mentally stimulated or challenged enough, then they can quickly get into trouble. For instance, they might destroy things like your couch or your shoes or their stuffed animals. They also might chew things up like your wooden furniture. And then they also might steal things to get attention. Archie the Golden Retriever went viral because he would steal the remote and get his parents to chase him. Mischievous Goldens can be adorable, but they can also be a handful if you're not in the mood or if the destruction gets pretty bad. Con number four, Golden Retrievers need lots of exercise. Golden Retrievers need one to two hours of exercise per day. In fact, many Golden Retriever rescue organizations don't even allow you to adopt a Golden unless you have a fenced-in yard. If they don't get enough exercise, they can start acting out by barking or jumping or destroying things. And adult dogs have a ton of energy, but Golden Retriever puppies are in a league of their own. For tips on how to handle the endless puppy energy, watch this video about five things to do every day to avoid having a crazy dog. And if you're getting a Golden Retriever puppy, then you're definitely going to want to check out the Golden Retriever Puppy Handbook. It'll give you tips on what to do in the first 30 days of raising your puppy, and it'll help you solve some of those common Golden Retriever puppy behavior problems. I'll drop a link to it down in the description below. Con number three, Golden Retrievers aren't the healthiest dogs. They have several health issues that are common for the breed, like joint issues and skin and allergy problems. Also, I mentioned earlier that they love treats, but since they love food so much, that can lead them to easily becoming obese. And the worst part is, according to the Morris Animal Foundation, over 60% of Golden Retrievers are going to get cancer. This is why it's so important for you to choose a reputable breeder, one that health tests their dog, so you can maximize the chances of you getting a healthy puppy. Con number two, Golden Retrievers take a lot of time. There's no other word for it. Goldens are needy. We talked about how they need an hour or two of exercise per day. They're also big and mischievous, so they need a lot of training. And they're social dogs, so they need a lot of attention. Now, why is this the second most important con about Golden Retrievers? Well, according to the National Council on Pet Population Study and Policy, the eighth most common reason that people give with their dogs is because they don't have enough time. Honestly, this was one of the hardest things for me adjusting to life with a Golden. No one told me how much time it was going to take. And since I'm still a little shocked about the time investment, I made a video about the top 10 things I wish I knew before getting a Golden Retriever, which you can watch next. Now, the number one con is that Golden Retrievers are expensive. Golden Retriever puppies cost about $1,000 to $3,000, but we found that 7.7% of Golden Retriever owners actually paid more than $3,000. And that was before the pandemic, when everybody decided that they wanted a dog, so prices have actually probably gone up. And when you're thinking about the cost of Golden Retrievers, it's not just about the puppy price. They're going to cost you about $2,000 to $3,000 in the first year, and then they're going to cost you about $2,000 every year after that. Now that includes vet visits, food, toys, treats, groomers, and some unexpected surprises. If you want to see more about where we got those figures, you can check the blog post down in the description. Now, why is this the number one con? Well, the fourth most common reason that people give up their dogs is because they can't afford it. It's important to know how much it's going to cost you and whether or not you can afford it before you bring a golden retriever home. What you don't want to do is buy a $3,000 puppy and then realize in year two, you can't afford the $2,000 a year, so you have to give them up. That's going to cost you a ton of money, a ton of heartbreak, and it's going to be awful for the dog too. Now the last two cons were the biggest things that caught me by surprise before I got Oliver. And if you want to see what else I wish I knew before I got a Golden, watch this video next. Okay, was this video helpful? If it was, give it a like so that more people can see it and decide whether or not a Golden Retriever is for them before they bring their dogs home. And if you want to keep up with the best Golden Retriever videos on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. All right, I'm out. Thank you for watching. And remember, never take your golden retriever for granted and always check your poop bags for holes.